Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monet and this is my channel Evolve with Monet. I'm a professional intuitive empath and I'm so happy to share some energy with you today. And we are going to get right into the series that I started here on my channel called Crystal Clear. This is something I want to do to help raise the vibration of divine feminines that are in the trenches. No matter what trench you're in, the I'm getting them back trench or the I'm walking away trench, we need to raise our vibration. And this whole journey is not as much about our divine counterpart as we think. It's really about us learning to love ourselves. And one of the ways I've learned to love myself over the last couple of years is through my crystal collection to help me rebalance through some hard times. So the stone that we're going to be working with today is infinite. I love this. Now, you can't tell in my low lighting this evening, but this is very much a green and almost purple stone. So those striations there are, are like a lavender and then surrounding it is almost a green. I hope you can see that, but if you cannot then please pick up a piece for yourself <laughs> and go look it up, infinite. It's a powerful healer stone. This promotes inner peace and oneness. It promotes whole body health. It helps you to clarify your soul mission. I love that for this. It raises your vibration to a higher level. It grounds excess spiritual energy. It helps you to discover your spirit guides and healers or your angels. In my case, that's what I work with. It helps develop psychic ability and telepathy and angelic communication. It restructures the auric field and activates cellular regeneration. It increases healing and potency during Reiki. It's clear clouded for chakras. Its target removes and transmutes negative manifestations in the body. It provides restful sleep. I use this a lot for restful sleep, relaxation, and deep meditation. I also love the way the stone feels. I have palm stones and I'll be sharing some of those as well, but I turn this around when I'm trying to get into my groove of a meditation. So that's one way that you can use it for yourself. It brings in clear, soothing, and renewing energy in healing spaces. It integrates past, present, and future experiences. I found it particularly particularly helpful this year, the last year actually, to integrate some past traumas with the current relationships I had so I could understand how I had continuously manifested unhealthy dynamics and patterns of behavior. This stone was very helpful for me in that regard, guys, okay? So it's great for shamanic journeys. Uh, I've been on quite a shamanic journey in the last year, I would say too. It attracts change and new ventures in life. It finds lost objects. Now a little tip and trick for finding a lost object, uh, lost object, can't even talk, lost words. I'm going to make a, a little quick video about that too. It's a trick that a fantastic and famous astrologer, Nikki Jo Mullen, uh, taught me. She lived in an area that I was close to at a point in my life. And uh, she used to have seances at our house and, and, and various things. And she taught, she still teaches to this day. She's fantastic. She actually worked with Edgar Casey, I do believe. Um, but Dickie Jo Mullen, or studied underneath uh, at the school of Edgar Casey in, in London. Don't quote me on this. I think I'm, I'm right with that. But what I will tell you is she taught me about Yoni 101. And Yoni 101 is something that you say when you've lost something, you say it three times, and then you ask for your angels to bring you the thing. And within 24 hours, if not a few minutes, you will stumble upon it. It's the craziest thing. So you would say, Yoni 101, Yoni 101, Yoni 101, help me find fill in the blank. And I promise you answers come <laughs> or it's really for objects like lost and found. So this assists with that as well. So give it a try guys. Trust me. It sounds crazy. I thought it was too. It works every time. All right. And so beneficial to those looking for approval and praise. So the way that this does this is this balances the need for that craving. Okay. That's how I have found it because I think in many ways in my life, I have sought that and I sought it from negative reinforced people like narcissists. And then you know how that goes guys. So this helped me to balance and not need that anymore. Actually, it stabilizes our need for control, possessive behavior or interdependent relationships. I 100% use this to help me heal from deep codependency that I was in, in a relationship. And, um, and, and the person that I was in that code dependent relationship had a karmic who was a Scorpio Scorpio ruled by possession and obsession she became obsessed I became obsessed we were all in an obsessed mess this helped me to break out of the skies okay so decreases negative thoughts and actions it alleviates physical spiritual and emotional mental stress or pain 
It soothes uh, and it helps you. So it's like a worry stone. It helps to combat fatigue. It provides nurturing energy from the base to the root chakra and the heart. Because of the green in here, this is very heart chakra associated. So I love that for that as well. Place on the throat chakra to confront past issues that are being carried into the present. I did this a lot. I did this a lot in the last year. I had this stone right here on my throat. You know, it's yes, on my throat right here. I had it there because it helped me to speak up and to be strategic about the way that I use my communication to heal myself. It heightens sensitivity to ley lines in the Earth's meridian system. It's protective of the electromagnetic field and pollution by um, insulating the aura. And it also is an infinite mixture of serpentine and crystallite. It activates the kundalini energy as well as the entire chakra system. A kundalini energy energy rising from the base of your spine that sexual energy guys so if you are needing something that deals with any of those things if you have any of those things you want that address then you want to pick up a piece of infinite and you want to get your healing on and your balancing on okay guys i love it and i will say again i get these stones from an etsy shop called strong healer i believe she is based out of florida okay so uh packaging and information so good you, everything you need check her out i love her i don't know her but i really enjoy what she does anyway guys thanks for sharing that energy with me please come back next time and we will continue to evolve together